how did Hill Fort dwellers get their water? And hopefully we'll answer it on this video. And there's a lot of springs around the bottom of hill forts, but to get water from those would have been quite unfeasible. So how did they do it? Well, there's several different methods, and up here we can look at perhaps a couple of them and see what we think. Just looking up over the ramparts here, I've noticed on LiDAR maps that there is a pond looking structure up here so one of the methods would have been to collect water in what we call a dew pond or a pond and that would have been clay lined uh, and on the top of hills then you think which way does the rain come from well generally it comes from the west and if I sweep around to the west it would have come from this direction over here and a lot of these ponds have been trodden out by livestock over the years and, and have all fallen into disrepute. So we'll carry on up this path here, up above this rampart, to where I've noticed some anomalies on LiDAR maps that may be ponds. <laughs> And this area here is the first of the anomalies. You can see that it would have caught water from the rampart there. It would have taken water from the westerly direction when the rain was coming in that way. And it is a big, deep, what would have been a pond shaped structure here and this would have held absolutely thousands of gallons would have almost been like a a swimming pool i'll put the lidar map on but we're now stood in the bottom of it you can see with the people enjoying themselves up and around there that this would have been one of those ponds i believe so truly amazing and there's more of them around here too. From the western side over here, and then people enjoying themselves on the parasenders there, and over towards the long barrow in that position there and down here we've got another one of these pond shaped structures here so that's two that we found at the moment but not the only I'm just going to walk down into it actually not the only things that would have been collecting water and you can see the size of it here as I'm looking around just go up over this rampart here and you can see how they become channeled after a period of time but they found some channels in places like Maiden Castle where specific channels with ponds were based at the bottom but due to erosion over a thousand odd years obviously we haven't got that today as much and I've been looking around here to see if I can see any evidence of ponds at the bottom of the ramparts on the western end where obviously the rain would have come in and I can't see any at the present time but the size of those ponds would have been big enough to have dealt with all of their needs as far as water would have gone if you take a population of 
around about 500 people drinking from something the size of a swimming pool and another one for animals another one for water for iron and this side of the hills does seem to be speckled with many possibilities as far as that goes so now in the ramparts we can think about how water was captured it's just capturing water we think we're into new technology now capturing rain water to flush our toilets and to do all various things like that and intermediate containers ibcs and flushing things out but it's been going on since really time began in one way or another because the springs in some cases would have been full of violent nasty animals that you couldn't always hunt or the springs would have been too overgrown to be able to get the water or if you got the water from a spring to bring it up to a hill for is just out of this world it's just too much effort so you had to capture it actually up on the fort itself and you could have had runoff from your your roof as well so if you had your house up here roundhouse could have captured runoff from that in a, a form of guttering you could have captured it from many different things but you would have segregated your ponds between animals and humans and also we're thinking that these ramparts when created you would have got thirsty when you were digging these with your various digging implements might have been obviously deer bone or deer horn or whatever but uh, you can imagine you would have needed a lot so one of the first things that they would have put in would have been water capture and some would have been left by Neolithic man too So it's always great fun skating down these banks, not knowing whether you're going to fall or not. And uh, as you get older, you get a bit more worried about it, but uh, we seem to be getting down it all okay. And the thought that somebody dug this out possibly with deer antlers or perhaps more advanced digging tools is truly incredible. And it is amazing that LiDAR maps tell us a story now that we wouldn't have been able to look at back in the 1960s or anywhere else. So it's given us an idea of what's happening in the landscape or what has happened with the landscape. And that's what brings me to these fairly educated assumptions on how water was collected. Well, I've had a great time up here looking at my local hill fort and how they may have collected water. And so until the next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.